I'll be writing an essay in 24 hours. There's four essay questions. I've been doing it for four and a half hours and I'm not even halfway through. Yummy! My number one productivity tip would be... <laughs> I just answered that in the first part. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a 24 hour exam. Of course, 12 of those hours I'll be asleep, so... The exam question just got released about 10 minutes ago, so I'm going to look at it and... Yeah. Okay, so the final exam, clicking on the button. There's four essay questions. I'm going to explain to you in 10 seconds so I did not bore you to death about what I have to do for this take home assessment task I have to do in 24 hours. I have to do five definitions, four essay questions, and one case study. So that is my exam. My camera's about to die, so I have to put it on charge. Okay guys, so I started with section B, which was the four essay questions, and they had to be um, 300 words max, so each. So like, they're short essay questions. So um, I've already done two, there's two. So I'm up to number three. I thought we could do three together. Discuss the concept of risk and control in relation to the various market entry strategies. What? There's three parts to this essay. So the first part is about market entry strategies. So I need to find this in my notes. Okay, found it. Now that I've found it, I need to reassess what the question's actually asking me because I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so now that I sort of understand what the question's asking me, ooh, ooh, yeah, yikes, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to type a response. It's really hard to do this step by step with you without like, because I don't want to like inform you about every single thing because it's boring. Well, it will be boring for you. I haven't even said what my exams are. This is an international marketing exam. Okay, um, I'm gonna like do this now. So, see you after this five second time lapse. I don't know. I'm gonna come back to you when I know. I. I um, found what I needed to, well actually I didn't find it, I just had to sort of use my common sense to answer this question. And now I'm moving on to the last part. Okay, I just finished. I'm not really sure how I feel about that last part of the question. My notes don't really clearly outline the answer and either does the lecture slides and Google is not being that helpful either. So anyway, let's do the final short essay question. Okay, it's now um, two o'clock and I've just finished part B. So that took me four and a half hours. But I mean, to be fair, like I've definitely had breaks, like I wasn't doing it for four and a half hours straight. It's actually funny because on the outline it says the examination is expected to take approximately two hours of working time. I've been doing it for four and a half hours and I'm not even halfway through. So, no, it's not two hours of working time if you want to do it good. I reckon I have like the hardest part out of the way, so that's good. Um, yeah, my number one productivity tip would be do the hardest thing first. So then you get it out of the way. So I definitely think this is not necessarily hard, but it's the most like boring and like time consuming and like the part I don't want to do the most. I did that first and now it's out of the way. So yeah, because if you think about it, if you do the easier stuff first, you're not going to really feel like doing the hard stuff. But if you get the hard stuff out of the way, then you're like, yeah, now I just have the easy stuff to do. So I can just do it. You get more done in your day because you actually want to do the easy stuff because it's easy. So do the hard stuff first. But in saying that, I'm going to have lunch now because I'm hungry. Enjoy this lunch ASMR.
and I've just decided to shift locations just for a little bit of change in scenery and now we are going to continue I was going to do like section A but um I'm gonna do section C instead I don't want to do it anymore like there's a yes or no question that's worth three marks and so they want me to write like 150 words on an answer that just requires yes Shaz, Shaz, no go 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 over there <laughs> okay come on girl you can do this <laughs> So, what, what it an issue, was it, was it, what it, <laughs> I can't speak. If so, what it an issue, was it, oh. if so, was it an issue with the product or with the way it was presented? I just answered that in the first part. Yikes. This is why I need a tripod. That's what happens when you balance your camera on hair gel, which is on top of a fan. Um, but back to this. I just... I'm resting you on two glue sticks on top of each other. <laughs> but we have finally finished section C. Finally. What time did I talk to you? I said two o'clock when I last showed you the time. It's now five o'clock. That section took me three hours, but I did also have lunch. The final section is pretty easy. It's just definitions. So they gave us a list of words and they just said choose any five. Do you want to explain what the definition means in the context of it? Ethnocentrism. I don't remember learning about that, but that's what our first definition is on. Um, ethno. Ethnocentrism. What is that? Francisco. Francisco. Okay, I can't find it, so I'm not doing that one. Okay, let's do Hofstede's Cultural Dimensions. Yeah. Okay, it's 6.30 and I just finished. Part A took me an hour and a half, but the longest part was honestly getting it under the word limit. That's what actually took the most time, was getting it under the word limit. But we're done. I'm just gonna quickly read through it and then submit. Yay. I tried to film me pressing the submit button, but I wasn't recording. But it is seven o'clock. We're done. But if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like and a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be writing a exam. I'll